Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have already discussed about that things with you, how can export all that your database data, that means permission stable data to the Excel format, and also how can add some of the specific field data name, that means a specific selected or field data, how can export it to the Excel format, I hope it's very much clear to you. Now in this video, I want to work for our import. Okay, that means here we successfully done our export. Now I want to complete that our import functionality. So for the import functionality here, we have to do, if you go to again our package, I have already done that our export, you can see how much easy it is. Now I want to work for the import. If you go to that our import, and that is also five minute quick start. And now you can see again, we have to now run this command that will be as a PHP addition, make import, and that will be our name, and that will be our model name. So better I copy it again. Okay, I copy it and now I want to create this file. So now that will be the same process. I want to name another name. Okay, I name it as a permission import. Permission import. And also now that will be access our which table. That will be again access our same table as a permission table. Right. Now I want to do I want to access it. Our table name. Table name will be as a permission. Great. Now, if you click as enter, now that will be created another imports one of the folder, and here I have named it as a permission input.php. Right. Now that will be created. If you go to our project, into the project that is an import, and that is our permission import. Great. Great. So now we have to do if you go to our import permission into the import permission here, I have already named one of the input field that will be as a type as a our file type and I name it as a import file, right. And then that is our submit button. Now I want to create one of the new route and I just name that route like as a import. Okay, so that will be as a import this type of one of the route I want to add. Great. And also here I want to do I want to add that as a NC type NC type multi part, okay, multi part will be form data. So here I also supported that as a NC type multi part form data because that is on the file type. So make that sure you load that our NC type multi part form data. Great. So that now only one input field and I want to create this type of another route as input route. Now if you go to our web route, now I want to create another new one. I copy it and here I paste it. Now that will be name. Name will be as input and that will be one of the post method. Now in our web route, that will be our name as import. Our URL will be as import. That will be one of the post. And also I want to update that our method name. Method name will be as import. Okay. Now this type of one of the method I want to create as input method. I want to create it in our role controller. Now simply go to that our role controller here after that I want to name it as a public and then function our method name will be as a import how much is you can see now I simply add it and that is one of the post methods so for the reasons here we have to pass that our request and then the dollar request okay that will be the dollar request and if you go again our extension that is also you can see in our uh, import area here we have to pass it by this add a Okay, and also now we can actually access it by the Excel import. You can see that is our Excel import. Now with this, we can do this work, but I copy it. And now I want to do, I want to add it. After that, here I want to add it. So that is our Excel. I have already loaded that our Excel, which is fine. Now into this Excel area, I want to access that import. And now our file import name. Here also we have to do, we have to load it. Right now, better I copy it and here I paste it. Right now that will be comes from to the our app. And that is a imports, not that exports. I want to access it as import. Okay, imports, that is a imports, great. And into this imports area, I name it, our file name as a permission imports. I want to do and to update it, that will be as a permission imports, right? Great. And also make that sure here we have to do, have to update our model name, right? Before I have already done this job for our um, permission export, also because that is not count, comes from to the, our model folder, that will actually comes from to the, our SPITE permission models, and that is a permission, right? So that is a permission. So make that sure here you have to do have to update it. Great, great. So I have also loaded that our permission import. Now we can actually access it. Okay, so here now that will be the new new will be which one that will be our permission import. Okay, great, great. And now here in particular that position I want to do I want to get our 
file name so i want to get this file name our that will be as a file type and that is our requested field name as input file so now i want to do i want to access it so if you want to access it only now we have to do that will be our request and requested that will be on the file type and our file type area here our name name will be as a input file right because from to this position i'm actually up updated that our file and that is our input file i simply take that our input file great so it will be get and when everything will be done then that will be display some of the notification message the same notification message i copy it and now after that that will be displayed on the notification as a permission imported okay imported successfully now this type of one of the notification it should be display and that will be display on the success type and it will be returned redirect to the same page how much easy you can see friend that's all you have to do here i have already loaded our that means i have already used that our permission input excel i have already used it hmm, that's all that's all great now we have to do we have to pass it like the, this format if you go to that here you can see that it will be just like that same now we have to do have to update our permission input right so into the permission input area from to this position i want to do and to pass it like that means if you go to that our permission input and that is our permission right here we have to do we have to better i copy it now we have to pass it like that way i copy it now after that i want to do and to paste it okay i simply paste it now our field name here we have to add that our database field name in our permission table or field name as a name and that is also another one as a group name so i want to do and to add it as a name name will be as a row that will be started from to the zero because that is on the array array is started from to the zero and then our another field name our database field name as a group name and group name will be the same as a row that will be as a one okay so that's all now here i want to pass both of this in here i have updated that our permission model successfully mm, that's all that's all you have to do now this should be work let's check this out if you know click as a save all right now okay i click as a save all and now i want to customize our previous i have already downloaded like there's a permission one right here there is a permission one here i have already updated that by the name and then group name i make it as a edit okay i want to use it now i want to simply change it like here i want to do that is our state menu i have already added now i want to take another field i want to simply delete all the data okay i delete it right now it's clean and here for the permission the state if you go for the state i have only used that as a state menu and for the state also i want to do i want to add that as a state menu state all okay i want to use it again in here that will be the state all and then i want to add for education purpose i want to use some data like that will be the state add okay i want to use it as a state add and both of these our group name group name will be in here as a state right so that will be the state and that will be also as a state great so here i simply added our name that is our permission name i have added two and that will be our group name so if you want to add that multiple one that will be the totally fine right now i only want to do and to check with two of this as the state all state add two of this permission should be added and also it should be added our group name let's check this out i want to save it okay i want to save it so our file name as a permission one now i want to upload this file okay let's check this out right now if you refresh it right now there is a six data and that is our state menu mm, then that is our group name now let's check this out it's working or not i also want to run that our optimize okay i want to run this optimize optimize is running successfully and now if you go there i want to refresh it great now i want to simply upload on this file let's select it now in our download that is a permission one right i want to simply select it now let's check this out if you go to our database now that is totally empty and now this data will be also updated in here right now let's check this out i want to select this file now click as upload Mm, yes you can see it's now displayed as a permission imported successfully and now if you go and now let's check this out refresh it hmm you can see it's now successfully imported both of this data as a state all state add and that is our state 
So that is the two of these data I have actually added in our permission Excel file. So from to the Excel file, now how to add that data into your database and also now you can see it's successfully visible and also that is an edit. Everything will be work perfectly. Great, great. So friend, how to import some of the data, how can export that data, I hope now it's very, very much clear to you. Okay, here we successfully done this job. And now for the export here, you can also use it. Like I have already created this route. Okay, I have already created this route in our import. Like I name it as a export, right? But I want to copy this route. I want to add it in our all permission, into the all permission that is our export. So into the export area, I want to update this route. Okay, I want to update this route. That will be as export. Hmm, that's all. Now if you click as a save all, now also I want to check it. Now if you refresh it, right now there is a two new data is added as is state all, is state add. Now if you click as a export, yes, you can see it's now successfully downloaded and now that is opening and now you can see that is also now successfully get our latest data that is a state all, is state add. Okay, that means everything actually work perfectly. Great. So how can export it, how can import it um, from the Excel file, uh, I hope with using this package, how much easy that is one of the package you can see with this package you can actually done this work very easily. Here we are able to successfully done this job. Great. Right now we have to actually add multiple permission in here because that will be also needed. I will actually add some of the data. I have already noted some of the da data. So that will be the same in our property area right now that our property our name menu will be needed the all add and edit delete okay so that is all that our data so now i want to insert some of the data in our next video i want to create another simple code application for our another database table as a role table you can see so that is our role table here also that will be needed for the reasons i don't want to escape this section uh, i want to create another simple code application for the role that is only one field will be enough for the name okay so how to do this work in our next video, I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.